Hello, everybody. Good evening. Hello, teacher. Good Hello, evening. good evening. How are you? Good evening, teacher. Fine, very well. And that's good. Good to know. In my house. In your house. Okay, that sounds great. Yeah. Okay, excellent. Okay, just give me a moment as I get everything ready here. Okay. Okay, going full screen now. And I'm going to share it with you. Okay. And now I'm going to call attendance. All right, when you hear your name, please let me know. Ada Veronica Muñoz de Fuentes. Present teacher. Thank you very much. Okay. Alexis Giovanni Ramos Rosales. Present teacher. Thank you. Alicia Perez Gavidia. Alicia Perez Gavidia. Is Alicia Perez Gavidia here? Blanca Esmeralda Flores Ortez. Blanca Esmeralda Flores Ortez. Cecilio Antonio Cortez Escobar. Cecilio Antonio Cortés Escobar. Consuelo Enriqueta Aquino de Salazar. Consuelo Enriqueta Aquino de Salazar. Delmi Alexandra Ramos Cruz. Delmi Alexandra Ramos Cruz. Idalia Margarita García Cruz. Idalia Margarita García Cruz. Isaac Adbonay Tobar. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Jennifer Nuset Arevalo Flores. Present, teacher. Thank you. Juan Antonio Brand de Paz. Present teacher. Thank you. Catherine Andreina Perez Cruz. Catherine Andreina Perez Cruz. Luis Alfredo Aguilar Beltrán. Present teacher. Thank you. Luis Enrique Palma Alvarado. Luis Enrique Palma Alvarado. Luis Josué Valle Hernández. Luis Josué Valle Hernández. María Magdalena Méndez Méndez. Present. Thank you. Marina Amaya de Mata. Presente. Thank you. Marjorie Marilyn Martinez Grijalba. Present. Thank you. Miguel Antonio Rodríguez Rosales. Present. Thank you. Nelson Eduardo Alfaro Roque. Nelson Eduardo Alfaro Roque. Noé Ezequiel Rivera Medrano. Presente. Thank you. Olivia Raquel Rodríguez Benítez. Present. Thank you. Oscar Alexander Domínguez Herrera. Present. Thank you. 
Oscar Mauricio Rivera Aguilar. Present teacher. Thank you. Pablo Josué Cornejo Ramírez. Pablo Josué Cornejo Ramírez. Stephanie Brendalí Vázquez Méndez. Stephanie Brendalí Vázquez Méndez. I'm calling some of your names again. Alicia Pérez Gavidia. Alicia Pérez Gavidia. Blanca Esmeralda Flores Ortez. Present. Thank you. Cecilio Antonio Cortez Escobar. Present teacher. Thank you. Consuelo Enriqueta Aquino de Salazar. Present teacher. Thank you. Delmi Alexandra Ramos Cruz. Delmi Alexandra Ramos Cruz. Idalia Margarita García Cruz. Present. Thank you. Catherine Andreina Pérez Cruz. Catherine Andreina Pérez Cruz. Luis Enrique Palma Alvarado. Luis Enrique Palma Alvarado. Luis Josué Valle Hernández. Luis Josué Valle Hernández. Nelson Eduardo Alfaro Roque. Nelson Eduardo Alfaro Roque. Pablo Josué Cornejo Ramírez. Pablo Josué Cornejo Ramírez. Stephanie Brendalí Vázquez Méndez. Stephanie Brendalí Vázquez Méndez. Ok, then. Um, let's begin. Everybody, welcome. This is Inglés Preintermedio, Módulo 1. And that's me, Ivan Doñan, at your service once again. And today is June the 13th of uh, 2022. Just give me a moment. I need to find something important in my backpack. Oh, my God. Just a second. Okay, found it. Okay, so... Um, what are we going to do right here? Okay, it's a present continuous, okay, that we studied uh, the last time. We're going to have a short review on this. Okay, and then we're going to do the exercises. So the first part is um, examples. She says, for example, I'm eating right here. You can see it. I'm going to zoom in. I'm eating. So she is eating. She isn't reading, okay? Está comiendo, no está leyendo. Can you just give me a moment? Thank you, I'm back. Okay. So uh, she's eating, she isn't reading. Second example, you have, it's raining, the sun isn't shining. Okay, and then you have the running, they aren't walking. So the present continuous is M is or are plus not if it's negative, and then the verb in ing like doing, eating, running, writing, etc. Okay, so you have some examples. I'm working, I'm not watching TV. Maria is reading a newspaper right now. The, she isn't eating, or you can say she's not eating, which is the same. The phone is ringing. We're having dinner. Estamos cenando. We're having dinner. You're not listening to me, or you aren't listening to me. And finally, you have the children are doing their homework. So what is the structure? You have to use the subject, I, he, she, it, we, you, or they, or the equivalent. And then the verb be like, I am, he is, she is, it is, we are, you are, they are. 
If the sentence is negative, then you have to use the negative form of the verb be. So you say, I am not, he is not, she is not, it is not, we are not, you are not, they are not. And then the verb in ing, okay? Like the examples here. So remember that when we use the present continuous, like am, is, or are, plus the verb in ing, that means something is happening now, in this moment, the moment we're talking. For example, I'm working now. She's wearing a hat right now. They're playing baseball right now. I'm not watching television right now. So this is the past in the timeline and this is the future, but we use the present continuous in this moment right now. And you have some more examples when they say, please be quiet, I am working. That means I am working now, okay? Look, there is Sarah, she's wearing a yellow dress. That means she's wearing a yellow dress right now. The weather is nice. It's not raining at the moment. You say it's not raining right now. The next one is, where are the children? The answer is, they're playing in the park right now. On the phone, you say, we're having dinner now. Can I call you later? And finally, you can turn off the television. I'm not watching it. Nada nuevo acá. Un repaso de lo de ayer. So the spelling rules, okay? Remember the spelling rules for the ing form. First, you need to add ing to most verbs. A la gran mayoría de verbos solo se les agrega ing. Example, work becomes working. Study becomes studying. Eat becomes eating. For verbs ending in e, you drop the e and add ing. For example, come ends in e. So eliminate the e, drop the e, and add ing, coming. Dance, it also ends in e. So you need to eliminate the e and you add ing, dancing. And then you have write, write. It ends in e. So you have to eliminate e and add ing, writing, okay? For verbs ending in a stressed syllable with the final combination consonant, vowel, and consonant, you have to add an extra consonant and then ing. Okay? Recuerden la regla acá. Tiene que ser la última sílaba que tenga la fuerza de voz y que además termine en consonante, vocal y consonante. Son ambas condiciones que deben cumplirse. Con que si solo se cumple una, entonces no hay regla. So remember, for verbs ending in a stressed syllable with the final combination consonant, vowel, and consonant, you have to add an extra consonant and ing. For example, we have the verb run. Run has one syllable, and it ends in consonant, vowel, consonant. Como solo tiene una sílaba, entonces esa es la sílaba fuerte. Okay, so you say running, double N, and then ing. Stop, one syllable. And it ends in consonant, vowel, and consonant. So you say stopping, double P, I-N-G. And then finally, you have control. Control is a verb with two syllables. That's why you say controlling. It has two syllables, and the final syllable ends is, is stressed, number one. And number two, it ends in consonant, vowel, consonant. Aquí se cumple la regla. Porque uh, tiene dos sílabas, pero la última es la sílaba con la fuerza de voz y además termina en consonante, vocal y consonante. Por lo tanto, hay que duplicar la última consonante y agregar ing. So you have control becomes controlling, double L and ing. That's the rule. Si solo se cumple una de las condiciones, entonces no hay trato, solo agregale ing, ¿verdad? And finally, for verbs ending in IE, you change IE for Y, I, and G. For example, you have the verb lie, it ends in IE. The ING form is lying. Die, it ends in IE. So the ING form is dying, Y, I, and G. And then you have tie, which means atar, okay? Tie ends in IE, so you know, the ING form is T-Y-I-N-G, tying. 
Those are the rules, okay? The same rules that we studied yesterday. We have to continue. So we, we completed this exercise too, okay? We completed this exercise. And what is the exercise about? Take a look. It goes, what are these people doing? Use the verbs to complete the sentences. So we completed this yesterday. Like he is eating an apple. She's eating an apple, I'm sorry. He's waiting for a bus. They're playing soccer. He's lying on the floor. They're having breakfast and she's sitting on the table. So uh, that was it. This is what we studied yesterday. And now I want you to take a look at this, right? Pressing continuous, complete the sentences. You have to use these verbs. And the verbs are build, cook, leave, take, stand, swim, stay, and work. Number one is, please be quiet. I, what is the correct form? You have to use pressing continuous. I need a volunteer. Voluntario, por favor. Vamos. Pasó, se me durmieron. Okay, Juan Antonio, and then Oscar. I am working. I am working. That is correct. Okay. Very good. Thank you, Juan Antonio. Oscar Alexander and then Luis Alfredo. Number two. Oscar, where is John? Oscar Alexander? Su micrófono? Oh, sorry. Okay. Uh, he's in the kitchen. He, he, he's He's in the cooking. He's a cooking. He is cooking. Okay. He's in the kitchen. He is cooking. Okay. Number three, Luis Alfredo. Um, at the verb, the verb, no, I, I don't know the verb, but to saying, on my foot you're staying on my foot mm, no luis i'm sorry it's a different verb okay no, no problem no problem okay just a second okay so uh marjorie Number three. Oh, you are talking on my foot. You are talking or taking on my foot. Or taking. Mm, no, it's a different verb. But thank you, Marjorie. Who wants to try? Raise your hand, please. Number three. Nelson. You are standing on my foot. You are standing on my foot. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, Nelson. Thank you. That is correct. Hablando de Nelson, voy a tomar su asistencia. Okay. Thank you. Welcome. You are you are standing on my foot. Okay. Okay, the next one. Uh let's see, Marina, number four. Look somebody is swimming in the river. In the river. Somebody is swimming in the river. That is correct. Okay, look, somebody's swimming in the river. Very good. Number five, Luis Alfredo. Um, we're here on vacation. We're, st we're staying at the Central Hotel. Okay, we, we, are, we are staying. 
We mm -hmm. are staying. Yes. We are staying at the Central Hotel. That is correct. Thank you, Luis. Very good. Number six, Ada Veronica. Where is Susan? She's taking a shower. She's taking a shower. That's correct. She's taking a shower. Very good. Number seven. Nelson Eduardo. They are bolting. Uh, look. You can't see. A new hotel in the city center at the moment. Yes, they are building a new hotel in the city center at the moment. Okay, very good. Very good. Thank you, Nelson. And number eight, what is that? Volunteer, please raise your hand. Luis Alfredo. Um, I am leaving. I am leaving. Goodbye. I'm leaving. Goodbye. Okay. Thank you. All right. Good. Next exercise. Pressing continuous. Look at the picture. Write sentences about Jane. Use the pressing continuous tense. Affirmative or negative form. Depende de lo que usted mire en esa imagen, me va a decir usted si la oración es afirmativa o negativa. Have dinner. Use present continuous. Si la ve que está cenando, entonces es afirmativa. Pero si no ve que está cenando, entonces negativa. What is the correct form? Ada Veronica, and then Marina Amaya. She's not having dinner. She's not having dinner, or she isn't having dinner. Correct. Okay, very good. Thank you, Ada. Marina, number two, watch television. Yes, she is watching television. She is watching television. Okay, good. She is watching television. Very good. Thank you, Marina. Luis Alfredo, number three. She is sitting on the floor. She's sitting on the floor with double T, sitting. She's sitting on the floor. Sitting Very good. The... Thank you, Luis. Okay, number four. Number four, raise your hand, please. Volunteers. Isaac. Isaac. She's not reading a book. She's not reading a book or she isn't reading a book. Very good. Okay, great. Number five. Ada Veronica, then Marjorie, then Maria Magdalena. Okay, Ada Veronica, five. Marjorie, number six. And Maria Magdalena, number seven. She isn't playing the guitar. She isn't playing the guitar. Correct. Very good. Marjorie, number six. Microphone. Uh, she is uh, loud. She is? She is loud, loud. Uh, no, I don't know. Okay, the pronunciation of this verb is laugh. Laugh. Uh -huh. laugh. So, so what is the complete sentence? Love, love, drink. Okay, la oración completa sería entonces. She is laughing. She is laughing. Laughing. She is laughing. Se está riendo. Okay, she is laughing. Very good. Thank you, Maria Magdalena, number seven. She is. She isn't wear a hat. She isn't. Wear a hat. Remember, in present continuous, you have to uh, use the your, Sorry, sorry. In she ING. is wearing, wearing a hat. So she is wearing a hat. Is that your answer? Um, no sé si hat igual que sombrero y gorra, no sé. 
No, they are different. Ah, entonces sería she isn't wearing a hat. She isn't wearing a hat. That's correct because she's wearing a cap. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. okay. es, una, es una gorra, ¿verdad? Ok, so she isn't wearing a, a hat. She's wearing a cap, actually. Ok, thank you. Luis Alfredo, number eight. Number eight. Yes. She isn't writing a letter. She isn't writing a letter. Ok. She, she is, is, wait a isn't. second. Ahí me equivoqué yo. Quiero ver. Let me correct this. Need to make a correction. Okay. She isn't writing a letter. Okay, good. Thank you. She isn't writing a letter. Very nice. Next exercise. So what's happening? Okay. What's happening? Write through sentences. Aquí tienen que decirme lo que está sucediendo en realidad en este momento. No me van a mentir. Porfa. Okay. So what about number one? Yo creo que aquí todos me van a contestar la primera en negativo. ¿verdad? Porque a menos que en secreto esté lavando el cabello y teniendo la clase. Que no creo. Okay, so uh, Luis Alfredo. Mm. Oh, I am not washing my hair. I am not washing my hair. Okay, good. I am not washing my hair, you say in this case. Good. Ada Veronica, number two. Aquí depende de cómo esté ahí por su casa. Si está lloviendo, afirmativa. Si no está lloviendo, negativa. So. In this moment, it's raining. It is raining. Okay, you can say it's raining, or if it's not, you say it isn't raining. Okay, thank you, Ada. Number three, volunteer, please. Juan Antonio. I am sitting on a chair. I am sitting on a chair. Sorry, that is correct. Okay, I am sitting on a chair. Very good. Maria Magdalena, number four. I am not eating. I am <laughs> not eating. Okay, eating. Sorry. It's okay. Don't worry. I am not eating. Okay, very good. Marina Amaya, number five. I am studying English class. I am studying English. Okay, just that. I am studying English. Very good. Thank you. Ada Veronica, number six. I am not listening to music. I am not listening to music. Okay, good. Number seven. Who wants to answer this? Number seven. Shine means brillar. So is the sun, is the sun shining? Yes or no? Está brillando el sol ahorita? No. Okay, so what's the what's the sentence? Luis Alfredo and then Nelson Eduardo for the next one. The sun isn't shining. Isn't? Isn't shine. 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 Remember, shine. you have Please. shining, right? Yes, shine. The sun isn't shining. Okay. Sun isn't shining. Okay. Okay. Una verdad a media, porque a pesar de que sea de noche, el sol siempre sigue brillando, solo que al otro lado del mundo. Okay, yes. so, but yeah. <laughs> en realidad... In realidad, sí. The sun is shining, pero de este lado del mundo vamos a decir que no. So, the sun isn't shining. Nelson Eduardo, number eight, then uh, Veronica, mm -hmm. number nine, and Marjorie Marilyn, number ten. Okay. I, I am wearing shoes. I am wearing shoes. Okay. In my case, I am not wearing shoes. But yeah, I am wearing shoes. Very good. Thank you. Ada Veronica, number nine. My family washing 
the television on yes, television. You're missing one word. Le faltó una palabrita. My family. My family are watching television. Normally, when you say my family, that's one unit. Es una unidad. Así que no ocupamos are, sino is. So, what is the correct sentence? My family is watching television. My family is watching television. Okay. My family is watching television. Okay, thank you. Marjorie, number 10. I'm not watching television. I'm not watching television. Okay. I am not watching television. Okay, very good. Thank you. Thank you very much. But what about this? Okay, Marina, yes. I have a question. What's your question? En cuanto a la pronunciación de usar y esperar. Mm -hmm. en, en, con el ING, porque lo escucho parecido, el, el wearing con el... Ah, ok. Wear de usar, de andar, andar puesto, ¿verdad? Sí. Sería wearing, wearing. Y esperar es wearing, waiting, waiting. I'm sorry. Wait, where, wait, waiting. where is wait. Ajá, el primero es andar algo puesto, sería wearing. El sonido es we y luego er, 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 wearing, yeah. wearing. Mientras que el esperar sería way y luego el sonido es como una R en español, waiting. Waiting. Uh -huh. Wearing and waiting. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. Now you have present continuous question form. We have studied the affirmative form. We have covered the negative form. And now we have to study the question form. So take a look. Affirmative and negative forms. You say, for example, I am doing or I am not doing. He is working or he's not working. She is going or she's not going. We are staying or we're not staying, etc., etc. So how do you form a question? It's very easy, okay? It's very, very easy. You just have to change the verb be and the subject okay in this case sorry is the subject and the verb be so you change the subject and the verb be and then they change position and you say am i is he is she is it are you are we are they and after that you have to use the verb in ing so am i doing is he working is she going? Are we staying? Etc. And you have some questions right here. She's asking, what are you doing? So first you have this. Are you feeling okay? That's the first question. And the other person says, yes, I'm fine. Thanks. I'm fine. Okay. The second one is, is it raining? Yes. Take an umbrella. Okay. Llévate un paraguas. Yes, take an umbrella. The next one is, why are you wearing a jacket? It's not cold. Give me a moment, please. Okay, yes. Why are you wearing a jacket? It's not cold. ¿Por qué llevas puesta una chaqueta si no está helado? Okay, it's not cold. The next question is, what is Paul doing? What is he doing? He's reading the newspaper. What are the children doing? What are they doing? They're watching television. And then you have, look, there's Emma. Where is she going? Ahí está Emma, ¿verdad? Ahí va Emma. ¿A dónde se dirige? Where is she going? And who are you waiting for? That's an information question. Are you waiting for Rose? That's a yes, no question, okay? So how do you form the question? In the affirmative sentence, you have I am. In the question, you say, am I? Is he, is she, is it? Are you, are we, are they? 
Do you understand the structure of the question in present continuous? Se comprende? I'll take that as a yes. So I want you to study the word order. Okay, muy importante, el orden de las palabras. You first start with M, is, and R. That's the verb be. Then the subject and then the verb in ing. Is he working today? You can say, is Paul working today? These are yes, no questions because the answers are yes or no. No vamos a decir, is working Paul today? ¿Por qué no podemos decirlo así? Porque el inglés es más rígido en cuestión de estructura que el español. En español nosotros podemos jugar bastante con el orden de las palabras y el idioma lo permite. Pero en inglés es gramaticalmente incorrecto jugar con la posición de las palabras. So the correct form is am, is, or are, then the subject, and then the verb in ing. Like, is Paul working today? This is good. But if you say, is working Paul today? This is not correct, not grammatically. And after that, you have... Uh, information questions like where are they going? Where are those people going? So you use the, the WH word, then you use the verb be, then the subject, and then the verb in ing. Where are those people going? And you don't ask where are going those people. That will be incorrect. Also, you need to study the short answers. When they ask you yes, no questions, you can provide short answers and say, for example, yes, I am, yes, he is, yes, she is, yes, it is, yes, we are, yes, you are, yes, they are. If the answer is negative, you use the negative form of the verb be. No, I'm not. No, he's not. No, she's not. No, it's not. No, we're not. No, you're not. Or no, they're not. Alternatively, you can say, no, he isn't. No, she isn't. No, it isn't. No, we aren't. No, you aren't. No, they aren't. And you have some examples here. Remember, you use the short answers only with yes, no questions. Like these. Are you going now? Yes, I am. Is Paul working today? Yes, he is. Is it raining? No, it isn't. Are your friends staying at the hotel? No, they aren't. They are staying with me. Let me make a very small correction here. Okay. So what are we going to do? This is present continuous question forms. Look at the pictures and answer the questions. For example, you have here, you watch it. The question is, are you watching it? And he replies, no, you can turn it off. Puedes apagarlo. What about number two? What is number two, please? Maria Magdalena. Are you going now? Are you going now? And the person says, yes, see you tomorrow. Number three. Very good, Maria Magdalena. Number three, what's that? What's number three? Raise your hand if you know the answer. Nelson Eduardo Alfaro. Is it raining? Is it, again, please. Is it raining? Is it raining? Okay, yeah. And she says, no, not at the moment. Okay. So what about number four? Idalia. Thank you. <laughs> Are you enjoying the film? Are you enjoying the film? Okay, correct. And she says, uh, yes, it's very funny. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, you. Number five, volunteer, please. Who knows? Number five. Luis Alfredo. Is working that clock? Word order, sorry. El orden de las palabras. 
Remember, first the verb be, second uh, the subject, sorry. Yeah, first the verb be, second the subject, and then the verb in ing. So what is the correct form, Luis Alfredo? Um, is working that clock? Mm -mm. If you say is working that clock, then you have a different order. You have the verb be, then the verb in ing, and finally the subject. Remember, the correct form is first, the verb be, second, the subject, and third, the verb in ing. Final chance. What is the correct question, please? That clock, that clock is working. That clock is working. That will be like an affirmative sentence. Thank you, Luis. Okay. Let's see, uh, Ada Veronica, what do you have? It's, is working the clock? Mm -mm. Wrong order. El orden de las palabras es el que falla ahí un poco. It's that clock working? Is that clock working? Okay, yeah, that is correct. First, the verb be is, then the subject, that clock, and then the verb in ing, working. Is that clock working? And the person says, no, it's broken, está arruinado. What about number six, Juan Antonio Brande Paz? What do you have? Are you waiting for a bus? Are you waiting no, for a bus? For a taxi. Yeah, are you waiting for a bus? And he says, no, for a taxi. Yeah. Okay. Okay, very nice. Let's continue. Now, these are all yes, no questions. You say, are you watching it? Are you going now? Is it raining? Are you enjoying the film? Is that clock working? And are you waiting for a bus? These are yes, no questions. If you see the answers, they say no, yes, no, yes, no, no, because they are yes, no questions. But now you have to uh, use information questions. Look at the pictures and write the questions. For example, he's asking her, what are you reading? Now, that's a question in present continuous, but it's an information question. What are you reading? What about number two? Volunteer, please. What is the question? Marina Amaya. Marina Amaya? Uh, where? Do, no. Where? Where going she? We're going she. No, sorry. It's a bit different. But thank you, Marina. Luis Alfredo. Okay. Uh, where, are, where are she doing? Where are she going. doing? Where are she going? Where are she going? There is a problem with the verb be. Hay un problema ahí con el verb be. Let's hear what Ada Veronica has to say. Where is... Can you repeat it, Ada Veronica, please? Where is she... Okay. Hello? Uh-oh. Please. Okay, where is she? Uh, maybe you can repeat it. Si me puede repetir porque tuve un pequeño problema de conexión acá, pero ya volvió. Please. Where, where is she doing? Where is she doing? Okay, the structure is good, but the verb is not correct. It's not doing. Está agarrando camino ella. Entonces, where is she? Let's see what Juan Antonio Brande Paz has to say about it. Juan Antonio.
Ok, Juan Antonio. The number two, right? Yes, number two. Ok, where is she going? Where is she going? Ok, yes, where is she going? Very good, thank you, thank you. Me van a disculpar, al parecer hay algunos problemas de conexión y eso que estoy conectado directo con un cable. Estas tormentas dejan mal estos aparatos. Ok, thank you. Uh, Isaac, number three, please. Uh, what are you eating? What are you eating? Okay, that is correct. What are you eating? Very good. Thank you. Number four, Blanca Esmeralda. Blanca Esmeralda, su micrófono. Why are you crying? Why are you crying? Okay, correct. Very good. Thank you. Luis Alfredo, number five, please. What are they seeing? What, what are, are they What are they seeing is good, but there is another verb that is more appropriate. En vez de seeing, podemos ocupar otro verbo que es más apropiado. Looking. What are they? Uh -huh. looking. What are they looking? Looking, okay. When you use the verb look, very good. But when you use the verb look, you have to use a preposition also. What are they looking? Looking. Falta una preposición al final. What are they looking? Looking for. No, because look for is buscar. You're very close. ¿Quién nos ayuda acá? Okay, what are they? Blanca Esmeralda. What are you watching? No, let's go back to Luis's answer. What are they looking? Y nos falta una preposición para terminar eso. Marina, let's see if Marina can help us. What are watching them? No, sorry. Let's, let's go back to Luis's answer. Regresemos a la respuesta de Luis, que está bien, pero falta una preposición al final. What are they looking? Mar María Magdalena. It. What are looking it? Looking it. Mm, no, sorry. It's a different word. Vamos. ¿Quién da más? ¿Quién da más? Ajá. Uh -huh. Let's try. Teacher. Juan Antonio. What are they looking for? Looking for, um, si no. dice, que, what are they looking for? Sería como, ¿qué están buscando? Como buscando. Ajá, mm. pero parece que no están buscando nada. Están, están viendo algo ahí fijamente. Nelson Eduardo. What are they, what are they looking now? Now. No, sorry, it's not now. It's a different one. Looking us. Looking us. Uh -huh. What are they looking to? What are they looking to? Okay, estamos más cerca, pero no, no es tú. What are they looking? Okay. Uh -huh. Where are they looking? Maria Magdalena? Looking us, teacher. Casi, casi, pero no. It's a preposition, say. It's a preposition, yes. Uh, what are they looking into? Into. No, it's not into. A la Verónica. What is the looking? 
Juan. No, sorry. Marjorie <laughs> Marilyn. What are the looking date? No, sorry. Okay, I'm going to give you the answer. Le voy a dar la respuesta. Okay, Consuelo Enriqueta. Maybe, maybe Consuelo can help us. Okay. What are they looking those? No, sorry. Okay. 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 The preposition is here. What are they looking at? Cuando ocupamos el verbo look, por lo general va seguido por la preposition at. Look at. Look at the look at the bird. Look at the sky. Look at the house. What are they looking at? ¿Qué, está, qué están viendo? Es? ¿Qué están mirando? What are they looking at? Okay, what about number six? Why? What is the question? Recuerden, si ya concluyó su participación, pueden levantar la mano para que no me confunda yo. Ver quién quiere participar o quién no. ¿Puedo yo? Who's speaking? Marina. Yes. Okay, number six. Why is he laughing? Why is he laughing? Correct. Why is he laughing? Very good. ¿Por qué se está riendo? Why is he laughing? Very nice. Okay. Let's move on. Give me a second here. Okay, final exercise. Present continuous question form. Write the question. Is working poll today? You need to unscramble the questions. Tienen que ponerlas en orden. You need to unscramble the questions. So what about the first one? I'll give it to you as an example. Is Paul working today? What about number two? What the children are doing? Who knows this one? Raise your hand, please. Maria Magdalena. What are uh, doing the children? Mm, no, sorry, wrong word order. Ah, sorry, so. Ajá, ajá. No sé, are, no lo puedo decir. Are what doing the children? Mm, no, sorry. I'm sorry. Luis Alfredo and then Juan Antonio and then Nelson Eduardo. Okay, so Luis Alfredo. What are the children doing? What are the children doing? What are they doing? Okay, good. Thank you. Juan Antonio Bran, number three. Are you listening, listening to me? Are you listening to me? Okay, good. Thank you very much. Nelson Eduardo, number four. Where are you, your right. friends going? Where are your friends going? Okay, good. Where are your friends going? Okay, nice. Number five. Volunteer, please. Miguel Antonio. Miguel Antonio. Okay. Uh, your parents are watching TV. Word order. El orden de las palabras. Porque ese orden es de oración afirmativa. So. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, are your parents watching television? Are your parents watching television? Correct. Very good. Thank Idalia you. Margarita, number six. The microphone, Idalia. Uh, what is Jessica cooking? What is Jessica cooking? Okay, yeah, correct. What is Jessica cooking? Very nice. Number seven, Ada Veronica. Why are you looking at me? Why are you looking at me? Okay, you can see it there, look at. Why are you looking at me? Good. And number eight, what do you have in number eight? 
Maria Magdalena. Is coming the bus? Mm, not the right order. Remember, first you need the verb be, then the subject, mm -hmm. then the verb in ing. So? What is the correct form? Let's see, maybe Nelson Eduardo can help us. Is the bus coming? Is the bus coming? Okay, yeah, more like it. Is the bus coming? Okay, great. Write short answers. This time you have to give me short answers. The first one, are you watching TV? Volunteer, please. Are you watching TV? Ada Veronica, and then Marina Maya. No, I'm not. No, I am not. Okay, you can say yes, I am, or no, I'm not. In my case, no, I'm not. Okay, so the second one, Marina Maya de Mata, are you wearing a watch? Marina Maya, are you wearing a mat, a uh, watch? I'm sorry. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. Okay, okay, good, good. No, I'm not. Uh, the next one, please. Thank you, Marina. N the next one, raise your hand, please. Luis Alfredo, are you eating something? No, I am not. No, I'm not. Okay. Also, in my case, I'm not. Okay, good. The next one. Okay. Is it raining? Is it raining? Ada Veronica. Yes, it is. Raining. Yes, it is. Or simply you say, yes, it is. Okay. In my yes. case, I have right here, no, it isn't. Pero en su caso, si está lloviendo por ahí, ¿verdad? Entonces, yes, it is. Okay, good. And the last one, no, not the last one. Are you sitting on the floor? Volunteer, please raise your hand. Luis Alfredo, are you sitting on the floor? No, I am not. No, I am not. Okay, good. No. And the last one, thank you, Luis. The last one. <laughs> What's that? Are you feeling well? Raise your hand, please. Juan Antonio Bran, are you feeling well? Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Okay, all right, good. Thank you, thank you very much. Okay, I'm just going to uh, go back to the attendance list. I'm calling those who haven't replied yet. En asistencia, Alicia Perez Gavidia. Is Alicia Perez Gavidia present tonight? Is she online? Alicia Perez Gavidia. Delmi Alexandra Ramos Cruz. Is Delmi online? Delmi Alexandra Ramos Cruz. Catherine Andreina Perez Cruz. Is Catherine online tonight? Catherine Andreina Perez Cruz. Luis Enrique Palma Alvarado. Is Luis Enrique online? Luis Enrique Palma Alvarado. Okay. Is uh, Luis Josue Valle Hernandez online? Present teacher. Thank you. Okay, the next one. Pablo Josue Cornejo Ramirez. Is Pablo Josue online? Present teacher. Thank you. And finally, you have Stephanie Brendali. Is Stephanie Brendali Vasquez Mendez online right now? Stephanie Brendali Vasquez Mendez. Okay. 
Okay, everybody, remember, you have to work on the platform. This is the last week. Esta es la última semana, okay, de este nivel. So you need to work on the platform. You need to complete the exercises from section five, and also you need to complete the final exam. So please, do this this week. No se vayan a atrasar, de acuerdo? Okay, everybody, uh, that's going to be it. Thank you, and uh, I will see you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. See you tomorrow. Good night. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Good night, everyone. Bye. Bye.